10 to 8 will now draw a sunrise exclusive. If you're a Harry Potter fan like me, you'll know all about the next instalment. The Order of the Phoenix is currently being shot in England. Well, the film is shrouded in secrecy, but our man in London managed to get onto the set. Take a look. Hi folks, John O'Coleman here. Believe it or not, I'm about an hour outside of London in beautiful tropical Watford. And this is the set of the Harry Potter movie, Order of the Phoenix. Inside here, in Hogwarts, is the big, big banquet hall. Come have a look. And this is where they film it all. This is a film set. It's incredible. But don't believe me. Take a look at this. For each school, a single student has chosen to survive three dangerous tasks. Let's face it, folks. Harry Potter is the smash hit of the decade. Four movies have already topped the box office. Now they're making a fifth. And I'm on the set exclusively for you guys at Sunrise. Hello, Melancholy. My, my father and me, when we were over there um, last year, we got addicted to Sunrise and watching you. Mate, you've, mate, you've made their day. Oh, brilliant. When, when it all goes horribly wrong over here, you see, you'll have a... Uh, yeah, exactly. So, hey. You'll no, have a gig on fine. Sunrise. Yeah, great. <laughs> it's Daniel Radcliffe, the weatherman. I'd, actually, the weather thing's the one I'd always wanted. If I had been on, the, I would have liked to do the weather. Because you can sort of... You know, you don't have to take things quite as seriously. Yeah, like Grant. He yeah, like it. Grant. Grant, who grew his beard, you see? There's so much secrecy surrounding this new film, but when I talked to Emma Watson, she was happy to tell all. Typical. And guess what? Her character, Hermione, is still fighting with Ron. Well, actually, I just saw a shot a scene where um, I blast him and slam him against the back wall with a spell because he makes a very patronising and sexist comment. But um, apart from that, we're going on very well. <laughs> That's good. And Harry may just finally get the girl. Well, actually, he has his first on-screen kiss in this one with Cho Chang. So um, he, he's, uh, he's on the way. He really is. I just wanted if you... <laughs> I just wanted if maybe you want to go to the ball with me. I've been... Um, I, I haven't actually had my kiss scene yet. We were going to do it the other day, but as you know, I'm, I'm flewed up. So I, I haven't been... I, Katie escaped that one, unfortunately. But I'll get her. How do they... Have you, have you changed? Are you still the same lovable person? Well, I asked my friend that the other day, um, if I, if she thought I changed. Through your lawyers. <laughs> no, and um, she said that um, she said not much, apart from the fact that I'm I'm more confident and sometimes a bit cocky. But <laughs> well, the stars may be growing up, but let's face it, they've always got time for a bit of good old onset antics. You know what? I used to have this big problem with uh, laughing, like sort of corpsing in these scenes and. I know, I've sort of got over that problem now, but it's just, just for no reason, I'll sort of like start laughing. And I used to ruin a lot of take, actually. Me and Rupert are both, I'm, I'm, I've got, I have to say, actually, and Rupert as well, we've both got a lot better. Because it did used to be that we were, particularly on the second film, we were awful at just sort of spontaneous fits of hysteria. Um, and we, the, the awful thing was that we wouldn't be able to say why. So I would say, why are you laughing? We don't know, it's something's funny. <laughs> um, and, but you don't need a reason when you're 12. <laughs> Absolutely not. Are you going to have a proper job one day, Emma? I'm going to have a proper job. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, I I want to kind of finish off. I I want to finish off my education. I, I really want to go to university, and then um, my problem is, is I'm interested in so many different things. I can't actually choose. I can't imagine myself choosing one way that I want to go. A gap year in Australia. That's what you need. That's the way to go. See, that's what my dad did, and he's like, you should go to Australia for a gap year. So leave it to me. Uncle John, I will fix you up. <laughs> You'll sort it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Just because these tasks are designed to test you in the most brutal way, they're almost cruel. And I'm... Um, I'm scared for you. Have you got a girlfriend yet? Um, no, I don't actually. No, not at the moment, no. So, start writing those letters, girls. It could be good news. I'll tell you what, the service is pretty terrible here. It was never like this at my school during school lunches. Unbelievable. Anyway, this is John O'Coleman for Sunrise on the set of Harry Potter. See you next time. Thank you, John. Wow. That's him.